Hey guys, welcome back to the Tale of Two Smitties. So we literally just uploaded last week's video, um, cleaned up our hotel room, and came over to the bus. So this will be part two of getting uh, some electrical work done for the electrical system. Uh, we actually made some progress the last day we were here. Uh, I just thought all of that work in last week's video was gonna get done on Monday and then I'd get a whole lot more done. So I didn't, so here we are. Uh, let's get to it. Welcome to the Tale of Two Smitties. We're Cody and Laura, and if you're new here, let's catch you up. Before winter, we bought a school bus, a big yellow school bus. Cody flew out to Phoenix with Laura's dad, Grant, to make the drive back to downtown Dallas. Since then, we've been plugging away on our schooly bus conversion, turning a bus into a tiny home on wheels. We've had help from both of our dads, Cody's dad, Wayne, and Laura's dad, Grant. So, if you'd like to follow along on our journey towards bus life, click subscribe, and sit back, relax, and enjoy the tale of two Smitties. All right, so uh, we posted our YouTube video, and when I was going back through it, I realized there's some things that uh, I alluded to, but I didn't really explain that I ran into this past week. So I'm gonna show you some of them now. All right, so bottom of the inverter, problem number one was I had a hard time getting all of the wires inside of here. Uh, I initially had shrink tubing on all of these and they just wouldn't fit. So I asked around, somebody said, it's just really tight. So I just started shoving harder and harder and took the shrink tubing off eventually and, and uh, finally got it through. So uh, that was the first part. The second part was getting these ferrules into the port. And so I don't love that they're exposed. And if you know that that's definitely a problem, would you shoot us a message? Uh, but again, with the shrink tubing on it, they, they wouldn't fit next to each other. There just wasn't enough room. So that was a problem. Problem number three was that this nut came off uh, and I couldn't find it anywhere. It was actually the one for these. Uh, and so that needs to be in there before I connect the wires. Well, after two to three hours of looking everywhere in the bus, I realized when the nut fell off, it went down inside there. Uh, it slid down there and I had to start taking this apart to get in there. Uh, and obviously that wasn't the first place I looked, so hours of searching. <laughs> Last problem, and this is on the Lynx distributor, I can't get this cable to sit in between this plastic piece. It like doesn't fit. And uh, I don't know, this is what was recommended. It's supposed to fit in here and I just can't. receptacle for the 30 amp service it's a plug that looks like this it's a twist lock plug uh, so initially I cut this hole uh, for the size of the plastic to fit in which works great uh, the problem is there's another piece that goes on the back and this is much wider so I'm gonna have to recut it um, anyway uh, this is gonna be what powers from the shore power um, anytime we're plugged in somewhere at a campground or anywhere else this will give us 30 amp service and uh, let's get to it. So a twist lock plug looks like this. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got, uh, the ground's got a little bent piece here and there's a couple others. So these will get wired in on the back side. And that'll fit right in here. these 20 seconds, a condensed version of 48 minutes of me struggling to get this plug installed. I was doing it the wrong way. In the end, I did it in about three minutes. The wires just go into the back of the plug and the screws tighten it down. I'm not sure what I was trying to do. Well, I do know I was trying to get the wires around the screws, which is not necessary for this plug.
next week on The Tale of Two Smitties. Laura and I head to the airport for a quick trip back to New Jersey, which is where I grew up. We drive around to see where my parents grew up, where they went to school, and their childhood homes. We also get to see a bunch of family at my cousin's wedding.